Hey guys and girls, my name is Alan and in today's video we'll be looking at some footage of me flying, or at least trying to fly, some of the, uh, the vehicles, the aerial vehicles in the Star Wars Battlefront Beta. Now the vehicle that I'm about to jump into now is called the X-Wing and it is a fighter jet on the side of the Rebels. So I'm not very good at flying uh, in, in this game. Um, there's been a bit of discussion about whether that's because of the mechanics of the, of, the, of the game itself or whether because it's just got a bit of a steep learning curve. Now I don't play a lot of Battlefield games but when I do play I like to be uh, in control of one of the vehicles so whether it's uh, driving a tank or flying one of the uh, jets or piloting one of the helicopters whether it's transport or an attack helicopter. And so obviously when I found out that there were going to be vehicles in the in the beta, obviously I was, I was happy and I wanted to give it a try. So the first thing I want to talk about uh, about these vehicles is that in other Battlefield games, um, basically if you play this sort of game mode, then vehicles will always spawn where your, where your spawn is, uh, in your safe zone if you will. And then so you can just pick one up after spawning and then you know use it and go on and so forth. And if nobody wants it, then obviously they just leave it and they just carry on and, and, and leave them as they are. But in this game, uh, vehicles and indeed like, you know, uh, turrets and stuff like that, that's all picked up. Um, some of them can be claimed on the map as neutral, but for the majority of them, it's all about you finding these drops and then picking them up and then activating it. And then you can use whatever it is that you've picked up. Now, this is good and bad. Um, I've already talked about this a little bit in my Walker Assault um, com gameplay commentary, so I mean I don't want to go over the same stuff again. But the point is, it's good that everyone has access to this stuff. Like, so anybody can can join a match, and if they see it, they can run for it and they can pick it up and they can use it, and that's great. Um, the only problem is, if someone picks it up accidentally, then obviously you know, then, and they don't want to use it or they have no intention of using it, then you know it's wasted uh, for the team. Uh, and if somebody who's not very good at it um, picks it up and I mean that's fine I get it everyone has to learn at some point but because these drops are so random it's a lot harder to get them um, unless you literally just camp the site which is boring and just like there's no point doing that I don't think anyway um, so yeah unless you do that then basically you just have to hope that you run across one of these and get it and so if you're a good player who can do a bit of damage in these, I've seen some players post some stupidly high scores being in uh, either an, an attacking vehicle or a defensive vehicle but you know controlling the skies basically and they can do some crazy damage and I mean I didn't play a lot of the beta so obviously I didn't have a chance to play much in terms of um, try out all the aspects of the vehicles and stuff but this is one of my later games and I managed to stay alive for quite a long time in the in the plane so quite proud of myself for that. I didn't get many kills I don't think um, but just staying alive is, is good enough for me at this point. So one of the things um, I've noticed about the jets is that everything's really quick. Um, I mean I know it's meant to be quick because you know you're in a fighter jet and uh, these aren't exactly slow things but compared to other battlefield titles and other vehicles within those games I just feel like it's very quick and the controls are a bit bit twitchy uh, as in like you move it slightly to the left and you, you know you fly to the left like really suddenly and without sort of there's no smooth control if you will I don't, I don't know maybe maybe it's just me like I said maybe I haven't quite mastered the vehicles yet I've only managed to stay in the air in previous matches for you know the odd minute or so so maybe it's just me I'm not very good at the game or maybe I'm not good at flying but I just feel like compared to other battlefield games the controls could be a bit smoother and the speed at which they operate I think possibly should be slowed down a bit because alright it's good because you, then you can just strafe the map and don't have to worry about being shot down but then at the same time if you're being strafed and you want to shoot them down it's a nightmare unless you're in like a, another fighter jet of your own or something like that um, and another thing is even if you are strafing the map and trying to and just you know just trying to pick out targets it's really hard to do that um, most of the time I was just you know going down low spraying the field and then just pulling up and then flying out and then just doing another backtrack but if you want to actually pick out targets that isn't the walker, I mean I know the walker is easy to target because that thing is huge and slow. But if you want to pick pick out like an AS, um, ATST, that's really hard to do. If you want to pick out, you know, a single infantry troop, like a sniper on a hill or something, 
that is really hard to do especially if they're moving if they're stationary then I guess you know you don't really have an option for missing but if they're moving or running away from you using cover and stuff it is very hard to just track that one target and by the time you've gotten close enough to take shots you have basically just got you've flown past and you need to backtrack and do it all over again um, so those are my complaints about the uh, about the flight vehicles themselves um, so the vehicles have different um, I don't know bonuses. I don't know if you want to call it that, but like if you if you're on the attacking side, the Imperial Force, then you control either the, uh, the Interceptor and the Tie Fighter, and these have um, so you'll always have a primary like laser blaster thing, and then you'll have the rocket which is controlled by R1, and then on the left hand side um, you'll have on the Imperial side you'll have you'll have a boost, so you can once you activate it you can temporarily travel really quickly um, in any direct well I mean obviously you go forward but you can control it so you can steer left right up down so on and so forth which is I don't know I mean you can get away from incoming missiles but sometimes it's a bit hit and miss sometimes you'll activate the boost try and pull out a maneuver but you'll still get hit anyway because the missile is just constantly tracking you um, so I don't know how useful that is maybe it's just me like I said but speeding up the game even more probably is not a good idea in my opinion um, whereas the, the defensive side, the rebels, have a shield which I think is a bit more practical because um, if you're being tracked by a missile or being chased by an enemy target then you can activate the shield and then just pull out an evasive maneuver maybe you know either escape completely or you know like do a loop the loop and then flank them or something like that which can actually be done in this game so that's quite cool um, I don't know if I managed to do any in this footage but I I think I managed to do it once or twice in other games. Um, well, to escape, not not loop the loop and then taking out an enemy, because obviously that would have been really cool, and I definitely would have recorded and uploaded that had I done it. Um, so yeah, I just I feel like maybe all fighter jets should have the same bonuses, because giving I don't know. I guess it depends on what you're doing with the planes, but for me, I just feel that the speed is already quick enough as it is, and I want more control of the vehicle, not less control, which is what the boost thing will do to you. Um, so yeah. Uh, something else I picked up as well, again, one of the reasons why I think um, people say that, that using these jets and vehicles is difficult is because there's no like instructions. You'd think for a beta, at the very least, that when you get into these vehicles for the first time, or maybe the first time of that match, then there'll be some indication of how to use it. So it should say immediately, you know, L1 does this, R1 does that, um, and explain the benefits or, or whatever. And one of the biggest things that isn't explained is if you look at the center of the screen, there's a, a yellow meter. And if you if you pull down on the left stick, on the left analog stick, it will reduce it from, from yellow to red. And this basically means your vehicle has slowed down. Now, I did not know this for the longest time until someone told me about it. And so, obviously, if you're attacking, uh, if you're flying down low and, and going in for a strafe run, it's useful to reduce your speed and then you know carry out an attack a bit better than if you were just flying past at whatever speed you were doing originally but even then I think it's still quite fast um, I think it should be a bit slower in order for you to pick out targets or you know target specific areas as opposed to just flying down strafing and then flying off again so yeah I think that should be explained a bit better because I, I didn't know about it until someone told me so I probably wouldn't have known about it either so yeah, if you pull down the left stick, well the beat is over now, but in the future, if you pull down the left stick, you do slow down. And if you push it back up again, then you pick up your original speed. Um, and I think that's that's something that needs to be explained. And once people get the hang of it, then maybe things will just work out better. But even so, I, I still think the speeds of the vehicles is a little bit quick. So if they bring it down a bit and make it a bit more controlled, I think that would do wonders for the flying, for the flying side of things. Um, and I think that's about it really. Um, I won't n narrate the whole of this gameplay because, uh, well, you can see for yourself what's going on, but I think I've explained the basics. Uh, and, you know, I mean, like I said, I would have liked to have played a bit more, put a bit more hours in, get a bit more practice, maybe get some decent clips, but it is what it is. And uh, the, the game's coming out next month anyway, so if, if I do decide to get it, obviously I can, I can fill my boots then, but if not, I'll just have to pick it up whenever in the future. 
so yeah um, if you enjoyed the video consider tapping that like button and uh, obviously if you want to check out any of my other gameplays I have one commentary for uh, drop zone on Celeste and I have one commentary for Walker Assault on Hearth which is again this map um, and but I speak specifically about those two game modes in those two videos so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on those then please do check them out links will be in the description uh, and possibly on the screen um, I don't know because obviously I don't want to make it too messy for you guys in addition to these two commentaries I'll also be uploading some of my highlights I've recorded so a bit like the Battlefield beta um, I won't be uploading every single one of my gameplays because they're not all great so I'll just cut them down and just take the highlights and I'll put those into a couple of videos uh, so yeah uh, if you like the video consider tapping that like button if you've got any thoughts you'd like to share in the comment section then please do uh, until next time then take care and thanks for watching Focus all firepower on it. Oh, oh.